Hi everyone. So, how can you practice your spoken English even without a teacher or a friend around? I guess that's a question that a lot of us have been thinking about, have been wondering about, right? Because in our life, we do want to get as much practice as we can, but very often we don't have a teacher around or a friend with whom we can practice English. So in this video, I'm going to suggest to you several interesting and effective ways that you can use to practice spoken English, and these methods have been used either by me myself. Or my students, and we've all thought that these methods are pretty useful. So in this video, I'm going to use two languages to present the content. First of all, I'm going to use English, and there will be no subtitles, so you can practice your listening as you watch. And the second part, I'll be、um, speaking in Chinese, so、um, I'll be summarizing the things I've just mentioned,、uh, and it's, I think it will be helpful for those who can't comprehend 100% of what I just said in the first part. So if you're interested, please keep watching. But before that, I just want to say that when you practice spoken English, you have to know the the areas that you should focus on. And essentially, to spoken English, there are two big areas. The first one is accuracy, the accuracy of the pronunciation. The second part is fluency. And knowing these two areas will be important because then you will make a conscious effort to work on these two aspects as you practice, and you will also know which skill you're tackling with,、um, with the different methods that you use. So, with this in mind, the first. Uh, method and strategy I suggest is using tongue twisters. You can totally practice tongue twisters on your own, and tongue twisters exist because they deal with difficult sounds, right? For example, in this tongue twister, the sounds that this you know tongue twister deals with is the th sound. And th sound in English is particularly tricky because there are two ways basically to, to pronounce th. One is It's a soft consonant. The other one is a hard consonant, which is th, th, right? So for the soft one, th,、uh, we can see the word thank, right? As in thank, thank you. The second one, th, is in that, this. So a lot of Chinese students can't pronounce th correctly. They will simply say thank you or thank you instead of saying thank you. So as you play with this tongue twister, your attention will be drawn to the correct pronunciation of th. And in fact, if you pronounce th in the wrong way, you will find it extremely difficult to you know to read it out very fast. So that's the first way. Well, actually, this afternoon when I was teaching my、um, the oral lesson to my form three students, I also used this tongue twister with them, and they had a lot of fun, and we all had a whale of time. The second method has to do with,、um, you know, working on the fluency of your、um, spoken English, and this method、um, I've also suggested it to you know my students before, and this method is to just to find a random paragraph from a random book or just from from an online article, and then what you do is that you start reading out this paragraph with the intention of having no hesitation. Uh, or no pauses in between, so this is a good way to test if you can comprehend the text as well as、uh, reading it loud, reading it out loud fluently. So, for example, I'm just going to take out a book. You know, either one would be fine, and then I'll just open it to a random page.、Um, so, for example, this page. So, I'll try to read out this paragraph, which I have never seen before, and I'll see if I can read it out loud fluently and accurately without making any pauses or hesitation in between. So, let me just try. Well, as I shakily got to my feet, I looked out at seventeen smiling Ontarians waiting for my words of wit and wisdom. My tongue was dry as chalk dust, my palms as wet as a fish. The audience might as well have been seventeen thousand judges waiting to sentence me to eternal humiliation if I didn't inform and entertain each. I gave a last panic-stricken glance at Christine, who had driven me to the club, and began, "Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure." 
All right, so that's uh, actually a very fun way to see if you can you know, comprehend the text as you read and process its meaning as you read. And also you could check if there are words you don't know how to pronounce and whether you can be quick, I think, on your feet to figure out its pronunciation as you um, go along with the text. So these two methods are actually very conducive to fluent uh, spoken English because the first method, tongue twisters, deals with your pronunciation and the second one deals with the fluency, right? How fast or how fluent and how smooth you can speak. So if you're still wondering how you can practice speaking English on your own, please try these two methods. 那我现在很快用中文总结一下我刚刚讲的那些方法 第二个呢是流利度，就是fluency。那今天呢，在视频当中我会提两个方法，分别是就是针对一个是准确性，一个是流利程度的。那么准确性呢，大家可以试着尝试去练一下绕口令，因为英文的绕口令呢，多数都是